Hey, what's up guys? I am back on Minecraft and real quick before we get started I just want to say thank you for 600 subscribers. It really means a lot And I wanted to apologize for not uh, making videos lately on a uh, on Monday at work My uh, my father had an accident and now uh, broke his leg So we've been you know it's kind of been a little rough at the house trying to f you know get things figured out trying to set him up make sure he's comfortable he had surgery on Thursday, which was successful, it helped him, and he came home Friday afternoon, like, once I was getting out of work, so it's kind of just, you know, it's just been kind of crazy here the last week, so that's the reason of lack of content, but, um, now that everything's starting to get squared away again, I can, uh, you know, I was able to come back and start making videos again, I didn't want to make any last week in case something was going on, in case he really needed, you know, in case you really needed me around if my mom needed help. So once again, uh, that is why I was absent last week for uh, for content. But I'll be back. It probably won't be as consistent right away. It might be like a couple videos here and there. Just until like he's, like he's this week he's got to figure out how good he's doing. Like see how the healing process is going. So. This got to, you know, it's going to take some time. This is going to take a few weeks to, uh, I think they said six weeks of no walking. So it's just in crutches. We got a wheelchair for him. So I just wanted to give you guys that update so you know what was going on and the reason why I haven't really been uploading the last week. But now back to uh, what I was going to do. Uh, I'm going to do 40 facts about me since uh, no one really knows. Well, I don't know if you guys know much about me at all. I probably said things here and there earlier on, but... Probably haven't said anything in a long time. And I wrote all the questions down because I started picking and choosing questions just because I looked at some of the questions for, like, there's actually websites that make the tag videos. Like, and they'll tell you, all oh, these are the questions you use. I didn't like all the questions, so I just mixed and matched and made my own thing. So I got 40 facts about me. So once in a while, I'll probably stand still just so I can, you know, do the part, you know, of reading the questions and not going off track because I know I know me I'm already kind of going off track now but anyways uh, I figured I'd start off with one that some people probably wonder is how old I am and I am uh, 21 I just turned 21 recently so you know it's it was nice I went to Vegas for my 21st birthday it was a lot of fun then I got my favorite movies or movie in I am gonna say it's a tie between the Resident Evil series and Star Wars. I, I can't pick one, and I'm purposely avoiding using my heavy Boston accent because I want you guys to understand me, which means I'm like very focused when I talk. Because if I don't focus, then my accent comes out, and then you guys probably won't understand me. Well, you guys probably will, but it'll be rough to understand. Ah, oh, fucker. Alright, so, um... Next, I got my favorite game. And, um... I put Fallout 3 as my favorite game. That was actually the first Fallout I ever played. Some people are disappointed when I say that, but it's because... When that came out... It came out when I was still kind of, like, looking for a game I really wanted to put, like, time into when I played it and have fun. Which is why I do make Fallout... I'm probably gonna do some Fallout 3 videos once in a while still. Even though people probably don't watch it anymore, I just love the game so much, I can't help it. Ow! You asshole. Come on, man. I'm, hey, I'm making a video. Knock it off. Zombie, get off my roof. Whoa. Alright, I'm just gonna stand... I'm gonna stay inside for a bit. Make my life a little easier. Alright, so my favorite sport, I got football. And, um, and I'll just say my favorite team is the New England Patriots. I'm from Boston, so no one can call me a bandwagon fan, all right? I've gotten that a few times. I'm a bandwagon fan. I grew up here. I can have them as my favorite team. I grew up here. And then Coke or Pepsi. So this one, <laughs> it's kind of funny. I'll say Coke, but I like Mountain Dew the most. So that's a Pepsi product, but if I pick from those two, Coke. And uh, my favorite YouTuber guy is... Uh, I got I like Markiplier and Van Oss and his crew. You know Wildcat. I like uh, Each Show Delirious, No Glove, Mini Lad. Those guys are the ones I mostly go to. I don't watch my own content. I don't. 
I can't listen to myself. It's, it sounds funny. I just don't like listening to myself because I, I hear myself while I'm recording the video. Right, and then I got my favorite song. So right now my favorite song I'd say is Fire by BTS. It came out last year, but I'm still hooked on that damn song. I can't help it. And uh, my favorite type of music to listen to is K-pop, which explains my favorite song because it's a K-pop song. So that's I've been listening to that since 2012. I heard Gundam Style. I figured, you know what? I'm going to see what this music's really about. And I found Big Bang. I listened to Fantastic Baby, and I've been hooked into K-pop ever since. And then uh, what made me start YouTube? I just like having fun. I like the... I see all these communities that grow, like how Markiplier's community grew in Vanos. I like seeing how that fan base and community grows, and I, I just enjoy making people happy. I like entertaining people, so it kind of just fit in for me. So I figured I'm, you know, I figured I'll do it, even if I don't become successful. I'm gonna do it as a hobby that I can enjoy. And uh, did I play any sports? I played baseball when I was probably around seven or eight years old. I can't remember. It was so long ago. In high school, I played football my freshman and senior year. I was a defensive tackle and an offensive uh, tackle when I played. And then did I go to college? I went for probably a semester. And then I dropped out. I lost interest. I was going for sports management. But I really like doing YouTube instead, so I stopped going to college. I dropped out, and I uh, I pursued doing this instead while working full time. Now my favorite girl YouTuber, I like a Jelly Bean Nose, or her name is Heather. She does K-pop dance cover videos, which I enjoy watching because she covers them almost perfectly. And I and I say almost perfect because the original, obviously, you can't. Probably the exact original, which is why I say it that way. But she's a fantastic performer, which is why I like watching her perform. So it's awesome. That, and she's also, uh, for those that don't know her at all, she was from Boston. Well, he's not from Boston. I don't know if I, I don't want to say Boston. I just know she's from Mass, so, you know, kind of is a connection there. I, you know, I know, you know, where she was from. She, so, you know, kind of works. And the YouTuber I'd like to meet. I'd love to meet the Vanoss crew, or I'd like to meet uh, Markiplier. I'd love to meet Rooster Teeth. They're part of my favorites, too. I just never mentioned them. I kind of feel bad. They're probably my original favorite YouTubers. But then, there's like everyone, you kind of just start changing tastes. I still watch their videos. I just don't put them in my favorites anymore, I guess. You should say. I, I don't know. Some videos they make, I love them. There's some videos I'm like, eh. But I think that's every YouTuber. For all you fans of that, everyone, there's probably videos that no one likes that I make. I like them. I mean, I like what I make. I, I enjoy it. I have fun doing what I do. And uh, let's see. What do I got next? I got a YouTuber I love to collaborate with. And I have to pick one. And I picked Vanoss because I do like to fuck around in Call of Duty. And when I first started watching him, that's what my friends and I did without recording. We just did that all the time. And we didn't know people did that on YouTube, so we never assumed anything about recording. That was before I even I even wanted to record and whatnot. I just got, I just got a bunch of gravel, didn't I? Yeah, I did. I'm a fucking idiot. Uh, so anyways, like I was saying, it's just something we never looked into doing because we never thought we would even care to. Like Some of my friends don't care to now. Like They'll be in my videos. They don't want to do it themselves, but they'll be in my videos whenever they want to. That or they want to pursue it in the future because they don't have the money to buy the stuff, which I do get. This shit's expensive. Getting Elgato and a good mic and everything, it, it costs a lot. So I understand. I, I don't like get on people and be like, no, just do it. You know, if you can't afford it, you can't afford it. Plain and simple. Just how it is. You know, do it when you can afford it. That's why I say, I mean that for everybody. Do it when you can afford it. Don't just waste all your money and... Try to do YouTube right away. Like, I bought all my equipment when I was in high school. I didn't really have a full-time job in high school. It was always part-time jobs. So I understand for those that want to stop but can't afford to start. It's just just how it is. You know, no one can instantly afford to buy an Elgato because each time they make a new one, it costs more and more. Like, I think the 60HD, when I bought it, 
when it first came out, it was like 90 bucks. The original one was 60 and at the time, for me, that was like, I was like, holy shit, 60 bucks. Now I'm like, all right, yeah, 60 bucks. It's like buying a new game, and that's it now. But I can do that stuff for other videos, talking about that stuff. I'll, I'll keep moving on. But I would love to collaborate with Vanoss. I like that type of stuff. You know, I like trolling around. I just like to have fun in games. And once in a while, I can be good at games. Not often, but I like to. You know, it happens once in a while. I like to be good at games, but it doesn't happen often because I like to goof off instead. Because I like to laugh. I like to be Mr. Serious all the time. Only videos like this, I'll be Mr. Serious. But that doesn't even last long. So next up, I got a YouTubers that always make me laugh. Uh, that goes a mix of everyone that's a part of my favorite group. You know, Rooster Teeth always makes me laugh. Whenever I watch Van Oz, I almost pee my pants in some of the Van Oz videos. I swear to God, I really do. I get very close to peeing my pants. They're just so goddamn funny. I can't help it. But the, every time I, I watch some of the videos, like... There's one time I actually, like, I think I was watching with my friends, like, when we first discovered Vanoss. We watched some of the videos together, like, we watched, like, almost all of his, like, Black Ops 2 videos in 2012 and 13. And we all, like, ran and fought for the bathroom, because we all had to go so bad, it was so funny. I just, like, even now, I watch some of the videos in the spree, whether it's Vanoss' point of view or Delirious, whoever it is. I almost pee my pants half the time watching the videos, and I just cannot help it. They're just so goddamn funny. Like, I, I try to be that funny, but I don't even think I'm that funny. I only laugh, like, when I do something stupid, really. I try to be funny. But, you know, that's just how it is. I Some people probably think I'm hilarious. And I appreciate those that do, because sometimes I just don't think I'm funny. But, you know, that's what entertainers do. They do their best. And whoever supports them are true fans, you know. That's what I try to do. I try to entertain the best I can for as long as I can. And now we got um. Oh, that's dirt. Now next up, I got my first channel I subscribed to, and if I remember correctly, I could be wrong, but I do believe my first ever subscription was to PewDiePie. I believe. Which I'm not subscribed to anymore. I just kind of... I know some people are going to be like, why not? But just honestly, just not my thing anymore. Just not. Just not in my taste anymore. I don't know what it is. Is there a dungeon right here? Look at that. That's an interesting location for a damn dungeon, huh? That's a really weird spot for a dungeon. What the hell? But, um... Alright, well, yeah. PewDiePie was my first subscribe... Uh, my first subscription on YouTube that I ever made was him. And then shortly after, it was, like, Markiplier. And then became, you know, Van Oz and all of them. Rooster Teeth. Rooster Teeth could even have been my first one. But I just do not remember. That was so long ago. I've... I had a YouTube channel before this one. So I can't truly say which one was my first subscription. That's just my prediction of my first subscription. I'm pretty sure that was it. PewDiePie, because I remember I used to watch his scare compilations from like Penumbra and... Uh, oh, what the fuck's the other game? Amnesia is how I found them. Because I used to just watch scary like people react to scary games because I'm too big of a chicken to play them. Even though I played Dead Space for a bit, but that's because I played it before. And I do plan on playing more scary games and finishing Dead Space. It's just... I don't know. I think it's going to grow a set and actually play them. That will actually find one that I know I'll get hooked onto that I want to play. So far, I have not found that horror game that keeps me sucked in and I want to keep playing. I have not found it yet. Either I scare myself too much and I worry too much, or I just don't find it scary and I lose my interest in the game. Which I, happened to me before. I think that's why I haven't played Dead Space in a while. I just lost interest. It didn't scare me too much. I just lost interest because I probably played it before. And that was my problem. Playing a game I already played before. And I'm trying to make it entertaining. I can't because I played it before. It's not like I, I'm not expecting certain things. I don't know what's going on. I know what's going on. I've played it. But anyways. Now uh, my birthday is December 3rd. As you can tell by my age, you know what year it is. I'm 21, so you guys can figure out what year I was born. 
Uh, I feel like I don't need to say that. And I got any tattoos or piercings, which are two separate questions, but I'm just going to answer both at the same time. Uh, both answers are no. No piercings, no tattoos. If I really cared to get a tattoo, I probably would, but I don't want to spend the money and I don't really want a tattoo. There's nothing that special that I really want to get tattooed on me. And piercings, I just don't... This is my opinion. I don't really like piercings at all. Like, on guys, I just think it doesn't look good. I know some guys have them. That's fine. Like, I'm not saying you can't have it. It's just my thing. I just don't... I would not want one as a guy. I would not want to be pierced at all. I'm gonna, now I got my fears. My biggest fear. It's 100% heights. My biggest fear is heights. 100%. Like, I don't like spiders, I guess. I'll say I don't like them because I'm not scared of them. If I don't expect to see a spider somewhere, it will scare me. Obviously, like, if I see one crawling on me, I'll be like, oh, shit, and I'll freak out. But, like, some people that are afraid of spiders, like I used to go to school with, couldn't even play Skyrim because of the big spider in the beginning, like, at the level in the cave. Like, he would not play because he's that afraid of spiders. And it's like, that's not me. I'm afraid of them. I get the chills when I'm fighting those spiders because they're huge and hairy and gross looking. But I I'm not going to stop playing a game because, like, there's spiders in it. Like, he struggles to play Minecraft. It's like, dude, the spiders are just blocks. They're not that terrifying. You know, you can just deal with it. But I do get, you know, some people are really bad with arachnophobia. So I do get it. But at the same time, like, come on. Just a bunch of blocks. It's not like it's a legit spider, like the ones in Skyrim. They look legit. Those ones look pretty fucking terrifying. I'll admit that. I get the shiver. I get the shivers when I see those ones. They gross me out a bit. All right. So now we got a. Uh, oh, gonna flip over to the other page. Now I got girlfriend. Yes, I do. My amazing girlfriend Alyssa. We've been together for four months. Soon to be five. On the 12th, it will be uh, five, five months. Uh, she's fantastic. I plan to do more videos with her again in, um, in Minecraft because she actually enjoys playing Minecraft, which is why I, I made a video. Like We played on my PS4 because it's in my bedroom, and my Xbox is in my recording room, which I'll do an update video on my recording room too for you guys so you can see what it looks like. I've done a lot since last time I recorded. So I'll do that for you guys too. Uh, and I'll do, now I got the meaning of my YouTube name. It's going to be weird, but I'll just explain it because it's 100% true. So Mike is my real name. There's nothing fancy about Mike. It's Boomsy. For those that don't know, it's Boomsy, not Booms. It's Boomsy. I know that's not how it looks, but that's, what, that's how it's pronounced. And it came up at a party when I was around probably 10 years old. Maybe even a little older, maybe 12. Uh... One day, my dad was saying, I need an awesome nickname, and this is after a few drinks, you know, we're all just, you know, well, they're all goofing around, I'm just sitting there drinking a juice box or something, what I was drinking at that age, probably just Mountain Dew, and uh, he said Boomsy, he just came up with it on the spot somehow, so uh, my YouTube name is Boomsy Mike, because both are technically names I've been called for a long time, so I figured that's what I'll go with, and I got uh, my favorite color which is red. It switches on. Now, I'll, I'll say this. My favorite color switches. It's red and blue. I'll say red and blue are my favorite colors. I think I prefer blue, but sometimes just red. Like if I get in, like if I, if I get in a certain mood, red's my favorite color. But I'd say red was my favorite color for most of my life. When I got older, I like blue more. So I guess I'll say red and blue are my favorite colors. I don't, I don't think I have a favorite over those two. I'd say they're both my favorite. To be realistic about it. My favorite food is pizza. I mean, you can't go wrong with pizza. Just don't put anchovies on it and the pizza's good. That's my opinion. Pineapple pizza's fine, so everyone can stop freaking out about it. Uh, my favorite type of movie. I like sci-fi and comedy movies really the most. I don't mind action. Drama, eh, sometimes. It depends. Uh... Somewhere I'd like to visit. I like to visit. There's a lot of places. I like to go to California. I like to go to Texas. Um, I like to go to Italy. 
uh, I feel like it would be really nice to go to. I like to see Paris and the Eiffel Tower. That'd be really awesome. I'd really, be, I'd, that'd make my life. I saw the Eiffel Tower, not the one in Vegas. I mean, the real deal. Uh, do I have any pets? Uh, I used to have a cat and a guinea pig, uh, but they've been gone for a few years. My cat, I believe she was like 10. We didn't really know her exact age when we got her. I'd say she was probably like two years old when we got her, so she's probably around 10 when she passed. And my guinea pig lived well over a year. I had her for like two years, and usually supposed to, they're supposed to live a year, but we took great care of her. She lived two years. Both great pets. I love them both to death. We had a bunch of fish and stuff too. We just don't do that anymore, the fish. Uh, my favorite animal. Now, I was going to say dog, but that's my favorite pet, which is also another question I'd do. Was my favorite pet? I'd say a dog. I'd love to have a dog. Uh, but I would say favorite animal. I love lions and tigers. To me, they're fucking awesome. So they're probably my favorite animals. I just love just the way they are. You know, they're just beasts, literally. That's just all they are, just beast cats. And to me, that's awesome. I like wolves, too. I think wolves are pretty cool. But uh, next up, I got siblings. I have none. I am an only child. Closest thing to brothers and sisters I have are my friends. So, legitimately, I am an only child, but in the way I treat it, I am, I really have, like, a few brothers and sisters, and those are my friends. I consider them my brothers and sisters, because the closest things I got. Now, I got my role model. I'll say my role model is Markiplier, because how he does YouTube is how I want to play games and have fun, and then I love to do charity events. And donate to charity, but I don't have all that time, and you know I just don't have like what he has right now yet. Like I'd like to get to that point to where I can do it no problem and donate the cancer and to you know just anything, you know even depression stuff like that. I I, I just want to donate and you know try to fight it and help, even help schools. I want to donate for kids to help out school systems and whatnot. And I got uh, my favorite TV show. That's a tough one. I would say it's probably Big Bang Theory if I had to take a guess. If I had to say the most accurate guess for my favorite TV show, I'd say it's that. I do like watching that. I like those nerds a lot. They're really funny. And I got, let's see, first job. My first job, I worked at Gillette Stadium, which is the home of the New England Patriots. And I was on field security for about a year there. Uh, it wasn't bad, but it just wasn't, you know, full-time. And for me, I was out of high school by then. You know, I needed a full-time job. I couldn't afford having a part-time job, you know, and keep on doing that. Then I kind of did YouTube while I had that job, but I didn't really do it like how I do now. I try to be as consistent as possible for you guys. Uh, what I'm good at? I'm good at being a jackass at video games. That's what I'm the best at. In my opinion, that's what I'm best at. What I'm worst at, uh, I'm pretty bad at Call of Duty. I ain't gonna lie, I'm pretty bad at Call of Duty. It's probably the game I'm the worst at. Not Call of Duty Zombies, just Call of Duty in general. Like the normal multiplayer and campaign sometimes. Sometimes the campaign I suck at. I don't know why, I just do. Sometimes the campaign, I'm like the worst guy ever for the campaign. I just keep on dying or I can't get past this one level and then I just give up on it or something. I'm just not good at the campaign. But zombies, I enjoy a lot. If I get the, a certain crew, at least back in the day, I had a certain crew I'd play zombies with, and we would always get to round 30, no problem, first try. Well, I should say, I should say second try. First try, we get to like round 10 because we're trying to figure out the map. We just get all the points we can and open up the whole map and just see what the map looks like. So we got to do what we're working with. And um, let's see. My celebrity crush, um, I honestly do don't know. There's a few. I, there's a few I can say for that one. There really is a few. I like Jessica Biel. She's, you know, she's just, you know, gorgeous. Um, jeez, I really don't know. I guess she's my celebrity crush. 
I mean, I got some celebrity crushes, like, in the K-pop world, too, like, from listening to the music a lot. Like, I like CL. She's just fantastic. And, um, I don't know if it's Rose or Rose, how you say it, but from Blackpink, and the new group. You know, she, she, actually, that whole group, I have nothing bad to say about that whole group. I like that group a lot. Same with AOA. They go in that, uh, you know, they go in that section, too. Ah, uh, save it for another time. I'll do a K-pop vlog one day. That's something I'll do. That's something that'll be interesting for you guys. I can do K-pop questions. My bias and stuff like that. Let's, um, let's see. Next up. My first car. I had a... I, I'm pretty positive. I only had it for a day. It was a 1999 Monte Carlo. It was maroon. I had it for a day because my first day on my learner's permit, I got hit in a head-on car crash from a girl texting and driving. And, uh, yeah, I lost my car that day, so I did not get to really have it. I lost it almost right, I pretty much lost it right away. M my parents kept it for me, because it was my mom's old car. I can't remember how it went. I think my grandmother gave her her car, my mom her car, because she was looking for one. That's just how it went, I believe. I could be wrong, I don't remember, because it was a while ago. But anyways... That was my first car, and that's how I lost it. So my real, my actual first car I actually got to keep was 2003 Black Monte Carlo. And now I got a 2015 Chevy Malibu. I only had three cars. My next question, my next fact I should say, my hero. My hero is my dad. He is the guy I look up to the most. Even though I said my, my role model is Markiplier, but that's on a YouTube standpoint, because this is a YouTube video, so I'm putting it in a YouTube standpoint. He is my role model. I want to be like him YouTube-wise, but my hero is 100% my dad. Um, he served in the military. He was a Marine, so you know, it gives me more of a reason to have him as my hero. Uh, always helping me be a better man every day. Even now, even though he's got... You know, his broken leg, and he struggles. You know, I, he helps me be the man of the house. You know, he gives me, tells me what he does around the house so I can actually help out and be more helpful for my mom so she's not stressing out as much around the house, which is good. I really like helping her out when I can. But, yeah, he is a uh, 100% my hero is my dad. And next up, I got one superpower I could have if I could have one. I would say flying because I love to fly. That or teleport. I'd like either one. The same idea. And the reason why I picked those two is so I don't need a car. You know, I have the superpower. I can just fly. I don't need a car anymore. And that's one less thing I got to pay. So that's less money I got to waste. You know what I mean? Well, I shouldn't say waste, but it's less money I have to use. That's the only reason why I'll go with that. As that's what I want. This is the longest monkey review I've ever made, probably. You know, I'm doing all these questions. But I figure I should explain my an some answers, which is why I'm doing it that way. But anyways, that's why... I that's what... <coughs> <coughs> Jesus. I had something caught in my throat. That's why I couldn't talk. Ouch. But those are the powers I would have if I could. I'd say teleport or flying so I don't need a car. I don't have to worry about being late because I don't have to get stuck in traffic. I just teleport where I want to be. That'd be awesome. Now, next up, I got any family in the military. I did say my father was a Marine. He was a sergeant in the Marine Corps. And my great-grandfather, who I never... I, I knew him for a few years. He probably passed away when I was about six years old, if I had to get accurate guess. But I'm... I know he served. I'm pretty sure he was in the Navy. But then again, like I said, I did not really know him that well. So I could be wrong on what branch he was in. And I feel bad for not knowing. But it's I, he passed away when I was young. I didn't know too much about him. Because I was too young to really remember and know. Then my last question is, if I, had to have a, if I don't have a sibling, what would I rather have? A brother or a sister? I personally, honestly, both would be fine. But if I had to pick one, just because this is what I want to do, make YouTube videos, I'd say a brother. 
or a very nerdy sister so I can have another person to play games with and someone I can actually make videos with so I'm not, you know, always alone or relying on friends to be able to go online when they can. I have a brother or sister that lives here. We can make the videos together. And those are the 40 facts about me slash 40 questions for me. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Once again, I, I really appreciate you guys all for the subscribing. You know, the 600 subscribers. It's been a long time for me since I hit a goal like that. Hit a 100 subscribers added on. Like my 500 one meant a lot to me. This one also means a lot to me. Each subscriber is important. I know people are like, well, you got 604 or whatever my number is now. I think it's something like that. But still, it's like, don't just look at the numbers because to me, it's just a number. But I appreciate all of you that subscribed. You all mean a lot to me. Get another step closer to my goal. You know, so you guys just mean a lot. You help me out a lot. Uh, I appreciate the support. I appreciate all positive and negative comments. I like the negative comments because it's just something, you know, it's just a hater. It's nothing, you know, to worry about. Like, I don't, like, yeah, I respond to some of them with stuff. But honestly, it's not like I respond with anger or hate. I respond with a joke or something. Because I just don't like cyber bullies at all. I guess you can put that as a fact for me. Just bullies in general, I don't like. Bullies, honestly, are the weakest people that you'll ever meet. And I'll always tell people this. They're the weakest people you'll ever meet. They're not really strong if they got to bully you. They bully you because they're weak and or jealous of you. That's always been my opinion on bullying. So if any of you are getting bullied, you're more than happy to talk to me about that stuff. I'm always open to talk about that. I've never personally been bullied. So I can't tell you how, like how I've dealt with any of it. But I can tell you 100%. You know, I can help you. You know, I can help guide you through anything you're struggling with i'm more than happy to help and listen if you need a shoulder to lean on it goes to any of you out there watching this video need a shoulder to lean on i'm always here no matter what i got problems too but hey who doesn't everyone has problems at some point right no one's perfect you know besides my girlfriend i think she's perfect but that that's my you know that's just an opinion no one else probably thinks that but me but hope you guys enjoy that video thank you again for 600 subscribers it's Really amazing. A great accomplishment. And I hope you all enjoyed. See you on the next one. Peace out. Thank you.